Hey, good morning. This is Matt from Limitless Shot Engineering. We got a 56 foot Regal just got hauled out. Uh, actually, we're just getting ready to put it back in the water. Some things to think about when you get this all out is uh, how about waxing the water line, uh, prepping the metal uh, for barrier coat and some anti fouling. Also, you want to check all your underwater lines, uh, your zincs, any fiberglass damage. These are all the, this is your opportunity to get all that stuff done. And we've done all those things on this on this boat here. Uh, you can see Mark over there. He's uh, go ahead. He's already uh, detailing the the hull at the water line. He'll go ahead and wax it all the way up. Uh, so that will be done. You'll see that we've already got uh, uh, two coats of uh, black bottom paint. Underneath that, we put two coats of primer and sanded it down back down to the gel coat. The reason we did that is a lot of times with these new boats when they come off the assembly line, they don't have the best bottom job. The prep is not as good as what the, what we do here when it gets hauled out. So we went ahead and did it. So it's good to go now. Now you just keep putting layers of boat up bottom paint on this thing and she'll be good to go. So let's go ahead and walk around and I'll show you what we've done. So this is a great opportunity to go ahead and shine the hull. Go ahead and get your stainless uh, shine up. So we haven't got to this side yet, but he's coming around. And go ahead and put a coat of uh, uh, rain x and such on the windows for the next year so it looks all pretty. Over here we had some fiberglass damage from some, some hard dock uh, docking. So what we did was pull the rubber rail off and go ahead and fill all these uh, and, and re-strengthen it with, uh, with uh, fiberglass and then put a coated uh, gel coat over top. We'll wet sand this a couple times, buff it out, it'll look it's brand new, you'll never know it's in. We'll go ahead and fill all these other holes and put that rub rail back on. So this right here was a uh, underwater light bomb bad. We'll go ahead and fix a little bit of fiberglass damage here, rewire up the, the underwater light, put it back in. It's a good time to check all your zincs as well all the props we're not going to do the prop speed on the props this year uh, might do them next year but we did treat all the all the metal uh, the one thing you know about these Zeus pods is these uh, zincs are very difficult to get to in the water the pop, this trim tabs only go down when the engines running so in order to get this down you need to relieve the hydraulic pressure inside the boat to get these down this is something you got to think of before you get hauled out um, and then obviously you want to check all your underwater lights. We had one more here that's gone bad and we'll go ahead and do some other preventive maintenance while we're here. Check all the pumps, look for any type of uh, cracks or anything else we can take, take care of. We did change out a couple through haul valves, so she's ready to go. Um, when you guys are ready for this process, give us a call at uh, Limitless Shot Engineering. We can walk you through the process and get you scheduled for a haul out.